travel time with the best cookie of the state with the returning champ cookies and cream milkshake. Some new competition with oatmeal, chocolate chip, and a brownie sundae, which is kind of a trip. Pumpkin cake is a returning fave. Ultimate peanut butter makes me say, oh, behave. Enough of all this chit chat. Time to watch Ben there. Come back. All right, coming up first this week for our cookies is the ultimate peanut butter. This is a peanut butter cookie that is stuffed with peanut butter, and then it's topped with a drizzle of melted peanut butter. Coming up next this week is the oatmeal chocolate chip. This is a cinnamon oatmeal cookie that is filled with milk chocolate chips. And coming up third this week is our pumpkin cake cookie. This is a fluffy pumpkin spiced cookie with a cream cheese frosting and sprinkle of semi-sweet chocolate chips. And I just added a few extras because there just wasn't enough. And coming up next this week is the cookies and cream milkshake featuring mini Oreos. This is a chilled cookies and cream milkshake cookie that has tons of Oreo cookie pieces all throughout with a vanilla buttercream and it's topped with a mini Oreo cookie. And coming up last this week is the brownie sundae. This is a gooey brownie that has a vanilla mousse topping with a warm fudge and then it has rainbow sprinkles and a cherry to top it off. You get the cherry. Oh, that's what's left. Oh. All right, we've got several to try this week. I see a hair on the brownie, that's not great. You're leaving hairs on the brownies? Don't do that. Goodness, what do you want to start with? We got oatmeal, we got pumpkin, we got peanut butter, we got brownie, we got chocolate chip cookie. Not a fan of oatmeal. So. I'm a fan of everything. So we could get oatmeal out of the way. Okay, well, I mean, it's oatmeal chocolate chips, so that chocolate chips are good. Matter. It's a cinnamon oatmeal cookie. Sounds good to me. That's all right. So let's, I mean, this is what the inside looks like. Nice and gooey with chocolate chips. Ooh, that looks like I'm missing one right there. But it looks good. So, all right, cheers. I just wish it would have like cream, like oatmeal cream by it. I just don't like the texture of oatmeal. It's but not, I love to eat oatmeal for breakfast. It's not bad. It's just, I don't like oatmeal in a cookie. Yeah, it's not bad. If you like oatmeal, you like the cookie, but it's missing something. It needs a topping. So. Next time, put it's, a it's, topping on it, and they'd be better. It's super chewy. Mm -hmm. um, you definitely get oatmeal. I mean, did you get cinnamon in it? Yep. It has a cinnamon aftertaste. I taste the chocolate chips. It's not bad and at all. It, you don't get cinnamon right away. I think it's after it kind of lingers in yep. your mouth you get the cinnamon taste. Um, As you chew through the oatmeal, yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's it's a very chewy. And that's I guess that's why I don't like oatmeal cookies, because they're chewy. Mm -hmm. And it's, you know, it's, I don't know. I, I didn't get a chocolate chip with it. What did you get? I got a chocolate chip. So what did the oatmeal chocolate combo do for you? It's good. It's like chocolate oatmeal, but it's still missing something. It needs a topping. So put a topping on it, then this might be in the range where more people would like it. But for Mayor, it's always a no with oatmeal. No, sorry, oatmeal. Not loving you. And there, this week, we are lacking color. We are. Everything is tan. Maybe next week. Tan or brown or dark brown. It did too many browns. And the sprinkles in this Sunday brownie are just not enough color. So you would, you would have liked the strawberry. We needed some color. You want pink. So something. We needed some color this week. All right. So let's try the rest of them. Let's see what we got coming up. And on to the surprise of the week. It was supposed to be blueberry crumb limited time offer. And they said, nope. Ultimate peanut butter. Okay, so wait a minute. We had pe we had blueberry. A blueberry crumb limited and time offer. And we got offer. peanut butter in its place. Yeah, because it was like a muffin. Now we actually have ultimate peanut butter. It's not just normal peanut butter. It's ultimate peanut butter. I would have rather taken the blueberry. Like normal Arnold Schwarzenegger. Ultimate Arnold Schwarzenegger. I would have rather taken the blueberry. All right, let's try. So let's see. I like peanut butter, and I think you this love one's good. Peanut butter. I think this one's a cool one. Yeah, it's the one with the peanut butter inside. Woo -woo. And it looks like it's different than most because it's got the cinnamon sugar. You can see the sparkles. It's got cinnamon sugar on the outside, so it was rolled. Sparkles. Sparkles. It's called sugar. Maybe not cinnamon sugar, but just sugar. Ooh, crunch! I love the crunch of it. Mm-hmm. Chewy. Oh. 
You just want to cut through that peanut butter. Mm -hmm. That's good. So if you're allergic to peanuts, not your cookie. Um, but I like it. It's just a little over peanut butter for me, but I know you love that. Well, that's why it's ultimate yes. peanut butter. It is an ultimate peanut butter cookie. It's good. I like the peanut butter cookie. I like the fact that they rolled it in the sugar, which gives it granulated and crispy taste. Gives it some crunch. I like the peanut butter inside. That I'm very thankful for. Because if you have just a normal peanut butter cookie, you know, I, I can kind of do without that. This adds another layer. And then putting the creamy peanut butter on top in a drizzle, it's not bad. Not bad at all. So overall, great peanut butter cookie. Still would have rather had that blueberry, though. It, we needed it, a fruit this week. It's a muffin loaf. I don't care. We needed a fruit this week. I like cookies. We know that. What do you want to try next? Pumpkin, brownie sundae, or the champ? Let's go with the sundae. Brownie sundae. Okay, which one am I getting? I, I don't know. I'm going to take the one with the least messiness. Okay, brownie sundae. So I they, mean, it is said it's kind a, of gooey, a gooey brownie. I mean, it does look it pretty. Looks, I can I can see chocolate chunks in there on the side. <coughs> it looks like, so, yeah, it's chunky. It is chunky. Cheer. All right, we're going to try this vanilla mousse first. See what it tastes like on its own. Ooh. That mousse is really good, though. I like the chocolate sauce on top. You mean the hot fudge? Uh-huh. Kind of spread it around. Brown is good. That's not bad at all. Ooh, I got the chunks of the chocolate chips in it. Yeah, it's a good brownie. Mmm. The vanilla mousse on top is really nice. Mmm. The fudge on top of the mousse is really nice. Good golly, that's really good. And the sprinkles make a nice little crunchy. It's like that? your perfect little sundae. That's it good. It really is. I was surprised, like, I saw that one, I'm like, hmm, is that going to be good? It's actually really, it's really good. really good. Yeah, that, that is a nice little um, thing. I think that is our limited time. Yes. Okay. So you do probably have to pay <coughs> extra for it. Because you get the fruit with that one. The one cherry of the week. <laughs> um, I, I would definitely recommend that one. It is really good. It's um, really chocolatey. Like, I'm still tasting fudge in my mouth. Yeah, like that. I wish I would have had a glass of milk with. Um, <laughs> I'm always prepared. I, I know there are those people that love the sides of a brownie. So this works well for you because you will literally have four sides of the crispy... <laughs> crunch that comes I like the, the middle I'm a middle kind of person so but I still liked it I liked the crunch of the brownie the vanilla mousse really smooth really yummy like really yummy you could eat that on your own the hot fudge was really nice um it's a good combo. the only thing that it's missing is like a whipped cream whipped cream and then the cherry no but you have the vanilla mousse yeah I think that's trying to but that takes the place of ice cream it does but it doesn't taste like ice cream it just tastes like a really yummy it's vanilla really mousse. good though the yeah. brownie is cooked perfectly you it's get a, a little brownie. bit of texture because you have the soft brownie the crunch of the chocolate chip when you bite into it uh, it's really good it, it I was really surprised by that I was just like oh it's a brownie sundae whoop de doo but it's actually really really good worth it's a it. good sundae it's worth it all right pumpkin cake Time to go for our seasonal one for the week. It's super fluffy, and then they got the fluffy icing on top. Yes, it is fluffy. Yep. <coughs> you I had think... said last week it's like super high. It's very fluffy. Yeah, I think we've had this before where they didn't have icing on it, and it was just like too fluffy with chocolate chip, but this one's like just pumpkin. There's not chocolate in nope, it at all. but it's fluffy. Cheers. I love pumpkin right now. Like yeah. a mile-high pumpkin cake. That was so good. Mm. That was a good pumpkin flavor. That was really good. This is like what speaks fall to me. The pumpkin stuff when it starts to come out. Um, that cake, it is it is really moist. Super fluffy. Um, really spicy. It's got yeah, a got lot of... we got the spices in that. A lot um, of pumpkin spice in there. Th they, they got it with the spices. The, the cinnamon, the nutmeg, you know... Um, all of that is in there. It is lovely. It's not overpowering, but it's like just the right amount for fall. Yeah. Um, I definitely think it needs that. Is it cream cheese? I think it's cream cheese. Yeah. Well, the frosting is always really yeah, good. The it's cream like, cheese frosting. It, it's so well made. Helps cut through that pumpkin taste. And then the chocolate. Those I, are, I, mean, I don't think it really needed it. Meh. But it's okay. I it's I I appreciate having that extra little layer. Yeah, um, I think that I think it's fine without the chocolate chips. Um, of course, I added a little extra because I thought 
we didn't get a lot, but according to the picture, you're not supposed to get a lot. You're like, so, douse with chocolate chips. But I added a few more chocolate chips. I thought it would have made it taste better, but I could have done without it, so. I like it the way it is. So let's see, we've done four, we've only got one left. So, I can't wait. Oreo milkshake. The champ is here, baby. Yes, I am. <laughs> you're not the champ. No, this, this is the best cookie. This is by far our favorite the best cookie. cookie. The Oreo cookie. Well, we can't say Oreo. It's cookies, cookies and cream and milkshake. Cookies and cream milkshake featuring mini Oreos. Yeah. We got to get the name right. That's why our thumbnail is a soda shop from the 1950s. Because when you think milkshake, you think 1950s soda shop. All right, okay. let's go. Dive in. I mean, look at this. This is, I mean, look at the chunks of Oreo in this. Cookies and cream cookie, cookies and cream icing, that's milkshakey. Mm -hmm. We gave the Oreos to the kids. Mm-hmm. Mm. That icing was so good. I mean, there's literally Oreo everywhere in this. Hands down, it's the best cookie. Mm. I love it. I mean, you could sit here and just get like a four pack of these and be fine. Yeah, the cookie is so well done with the cookie and cream flavoring and the mixed in pieces of cookie. And then on top of that, cookie Cookies and cream, cream milkshake icing. icing. It's just, it's fantastic. That is a perfect cookie. But it's not overpowering. No, it's perfect. Which it's is not, crazy. not too sweet. You literally need to go get yourself a 12 pack of that. Call it a week. Probably not 12. But Why not? Go ahead and put it in your freezer, save it for a rainy day. That's probably a good idea. Yeah, because that, that's just perfection in a cookie. It's wonderful. So we're going to take a second to figure out which one was our favorite for the For week. us, it'll take minutes. For you, merely a second. But before that, that was a lot of chocolate and peanut butter. It's time to milk up. Ooh. I need to make sure I add that to my favorites when the cookies and cream milkshake featuring mini Oreos comes out. So then I know. When you know? When you know. I know. But we got to figure out which one of these comes close to milkshake. Or did some of them get past? Who knows? I don't know, but we're going to figure it out. Are you ready? Yep. Yes. All right, let's start with pumpkin cake. Hey, it's so puffy. Why is it so big? <laughs> now, I don't know why they will put sugar chips on a pumpkin cake. So I'm gonna take good. I see put like butterscotch chips on that. It's good. I don't know. Good pumpkin cake, cookie, nice icing and chocolate. It's very good. All right, let's go Oreo milkshake or cookies and cream milkshake. He has mine. Bud. <laughs> now, I want to know, do you eat your cookie Oreos with, like, the oil cookies and then take, like, the cream off it, or do you eat it whole? Your brother just took a humongous bite. <laughs> <It's> who? <coughs> you know what? Do you dip your Oreos in milk or no? Are you that kind of person? Put it on the comments. That I need to know. Now, what do you think of that one? It is still one of their best cookies ever. I like it. With the uh, um, cookie, with the uh, Oreo mixture, it is really, it's really good. Because they're just, the cookie is, it's good. The cookie is okay, but the icing is where it's at. The icing alone is so good, it overpowers just most cookies automatically. All right. so good it is. Let's go oatmeal chocolate chip. This kind of looks like a grandma's thingy. Yeah, the, the icing did not oh, It looks like mom's recipe. Oil cow one. Cowboy. Tastes like just raisin. No, I think it's best. There's no raisins in it. It's oatmeal <laughs> chocolate chip. <laughs> that was raisin. It's a cinnamon oatmeal cookie with chocolate oh, chips in it. I have a pop hot taste. It's okay. All right, let's go. Ultimate peanut butter. 
Well, I, I didn't did. get a couple once we've done this. I wanted to I wanted to do the chug. So sad. But I didn't get a couple. If you didn't um if you have peanut hours, you don't get this because this is a lot of peanut butter. I mean fella. <laughs> Common sense, bub. Mm. But if you don't and you don't like peanut butter, that's just weird. Weird. For me, I'm a, big, I'm a big fan of peanut butter, so for me, I like it. Mm-hmm. This nice, like peanut butter and wrap. It's a big cookie. I like it. All right, let's go with brownie Sunday. Why is it a brownie? Because it's a brownie. Because it's a brownie Sunday. Mm. Mm. For me, I thought that was actually ice cream. So, <laughs> that's funny. But the cookie stuff is really good. So it's bagels and the hot fudge. Mm-hmm. Let me go get my glass of milk. So what was your favorite? Ah, uh, the Oreo. Oreo milk. So, Them. Why are you scrolling on your phone? All I see is you looking down in the picture. Because I was getting the order of them up here like, so I know exactly what to say so we don't forget part of the cookie title. I never forget. So. We'll test you. Coming in at number five. The oatmeal chocolate chip. Oh, because she doesn't like oatmeal. Coming in at number four. The ultimate peanut butter. Because she doesn't like ultimate peanut butter. Coming in at number three. Actually, quite surprising, it was the pumpkin cake. Now, pumpkin cake is good. It doesn't make our top 25 list, but it's a solid cookie. Um, if you really like pumpkin, you really like the fall time, this is a great cookie. Yeah, you know, it's a you great want cookie something for different. You. you know, it's sometimes healthy. you just get tired of pumpkin rolls. and I never get tired of pumpkin rolls. You can get tired of pumpkin rolls. but Who are those people? <laughs> you just want something different. No. So, anyways... So coming in at number two would be the brownie sundae. Oh, limited time offer. That was really, really good. I'm actually surprised. I know. A solid you brownie don't solid. love the limited time offers. No, you, but... you have to really impress me with that because the cookies are so good that the bar is set here. And then when you make the limited time offers here, you really got to overdo it to make it good in my book. So it's actually worth spending the little extra money to get that limited oh, time break. It's terrific. It's one of their best limited time offers. But um, just don't have them had, close the box. No, had it not come up against the cookies and cream <gasps> milkshake. Your Sunday brownie fell It away. might have been number one. Could but because been. it's got the yeah, chance. I was thinking because the Oreo was in there. Had it not, yeah. that limited time offer would have been number one. Yeah, but the milkshake is number make one. Make sure they don't close your box. Because if they close your box, they squish the Sunday. Yeah, and then it becomes a, th yeah. a Thursday. Mm. I don't That's know. That's a bad inside joke. <laughs> um, but yeah, we've had that happen before where they've squished it. They're like, do these look good for you? Yes. Yep. Squish. squish. No. I always go, whoa, hold your horses. Don't put that down. You're going to squish it. So I had to tell the lady. I was like, nope. I was like, you don't need to close it. I'll close it. They're like, what? Though. I know. They looked at me like I was from outer space. They're like, how dare you? We're supposed to close it. And I'm like, no. I was like, I don't want you to squish the brownie. Someone could steal these little beauties. <laughs> but you, you said this week, lots of beige, lots of brown. Yes. So time to see. Does next week live up to your color specifications? But did we actually say that cookies and cream, milkshake featuring Oreos was our number one? It is our number one. So, our number one. State number one. And it's still number one. So, let's figure out what's happening next week. Next week, we got some winners and some not-so-winners. So, sadly, Meredith does not get her wish of more and more color. Starting out the beige, we have pumpkin chocolate chip. So, it's basically this cookie, except not fluffy and no cream cheese. So, it's going to be pumpkin flavor with chocolate chip cookies in it. I mean, chocolate chips in it, not cookies. My bad. So, I am thoroughly confused. Yeah, pumpkin chocolate chip. 
<laughs> Next one. It is a pie, but it's chocolate peanut butter pie. So more brown with brown. And, more peanut butter. And chocolate. But that one's the pie. So it's probably like the little pie crust that is very bland with the other stuff. So hopefully it's going to be yummy. Uh, next one, maple cream sandwich. So that's more, more brown. brown. Yeah, tan brown. <laughs> and then we got Tres Leches cake. That's a limited more time brown. offer. And here's your fall flavor. Caramel apple. Again, more brown. What? No, it's a green apple. But there's brown caramel on it. No, it's like a caramel apple, brown caramel. But yeah, lots of brown. Like, when you think fall, don't you think... Reds and oranges. I think brown. Well, I'm telling you, it's looking brown out here because all we're getting is water and rain and the leaves don't get any sun to show us their beautiful fall colors. But the so grass like, is green. So they're like all falling on the ground and all we have is brown leaves. We yeah. need some sun. Yeah, we need some sort of color because spring is behind us, summer is there. It's not happening this next week. You never know. I'm excited. I There's at least one flavor there. I kind of, I don't know. I'm not like super excited. Like they're all kind I, of like, I, yeah. I, oh. I know. It's like, what? Oh, hold on. And what? No. I love the Thrace Light Chase one. That one is good. I mean, that's but... like one of my least favorite LTOs they have. The caramel apple's probably good. It all depends on what's the textural. If they have chunks of like green apple. Used? Well, yeah, but if they have chunks well, of like yes, apple. An, arm, an apple cookie will have the chunks of apple. I know, in but it, like. To give it texture. No, I want cookie. Like, I like an apple flavored cookie. And they can do it because you have apple cider donuts. So an apple flavored cookie with like caramel, that would be better than a cookie with caramel and then pieces of apple. That I, I don't need a fruit mixed in that's crunchy. So with we're going to move on with that. I'm just saying. Hopefully the following we'll week We'll just have good. to see how next week turns out. Eh. All right. What do you think about this week? They were kind of good. Very brown. Yeah, very brown. There's not a lot of color this week. As Mayor has just beaten to death. Very neutral colors. Yes. Mine's so bright. Yeah. Mine bright. Mom would like something like this. Mom, here, grab your centerpiece and bring it over here. That's what you like. Mom would like a week where they're all like those colors. Nice and pretty. Oranges, blues, reds, whites. Well, I don't know how you're going to get some blues in there because we didn't get our blueberry limited time Blue offer. Could it be coming up in future weeks? Possibly. However, as far as this week is concerned, Ben. Mayor. Done that. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching our video. We really appreciate you watching it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Subscribe to Ben Mare Done That